Always uh, mention na uh, perform hand washing. Okay. Every procedure in your bottle na ita uh, perform hand washing. Second, prepare the necessary materials. Okay, when we say prepare the necessary materials, you need during the assessment or during the return demo na to talk. What are the materials that you have? The story, the story. Ano siya niyo mga materials na ang sinto bangan? Why? Where we can have a kind of the story. This is also to help you check whether complete to ba ang yung materials or wala. Kaya yung sa ay parehas na po no, uh, when I do assessment, eh, di na po na ilagat na lang ang materials. There are some materials sa ako na tabuhon. This is to test whether you really know kung sa'y materials you prepared when creating the milk na siya. Gets ninyo? So, talk. I have my funnel. I have my calibrated glass with measure stuff. I have my regular glass. I have my feeding bottle. I have my distilled water na siya. The milk, the scoop, and the sterilized spoon and coin and all that. Sturya din mo. Kung kung sa'y naalin nyo sa'y nyo. Ito ba nga? Gets ninyo? Okay. Third one. What's the third piece of it? Make sure, sure that the area is uh, dis uh, clean and disinfect us, yeah. Especially na mag open open metaanik, then there's an instance of ibutan nato sa surface, which means that there's a tendency to mag-hogo if ever we're not cleaning the area, nasi, okay? Fourth one. Follow the manufacturer's instruction for the water and milk ratio or standard formula. Okay, sige. So, uh, fourth is you have to follow the manufacturer, uh, manufacturer's instruction, okay? So, if ever I will be your assessor, probably in your third demo na to, kinatagahan ito mong scenario. Let's just say you're taking care of a uh, uh, eight weeks old baby. Okay? So, please prepare a milk for eight weeks old baby. So, basa ni ka. But during the assessment, okay, listen, okay, during the assessment, si assessor is maghatagan na siya ng ratio dahil mayro na na siya na 2 is to 1, 4, 3 is to 1, depende na na siya. We're talking about three numbers are ounce, okay, 2 ounce or 3 ounce na siya, and these are the scoops. Gets ninyo? Okay, yan ang may iso water eh, but during the assessment, you don't need water and powder milk. That's it. Okay, wala, hindi naman naman, mahasun naman mo lang si assessor, but and also it will take time pa na mag-kitla pa kaya na mag-butuhat pa na siya, okay? So, hindi naman siya mag-butuhat. Wala, just imagine ito na siya. But today is, we will really practice so that pa-picture out ninyo ba? So, hindi naman siya na mag-kitla ang gata siya, okay? Next, fifth one. What's the fifth person doing? Make sure the amount of water using the calibrated glass or measuring glass by using the baby's milk bottle. Pour the water in the glass using a baby bottle or manner. Okay. Or using the measure to do right. And let's go with four weeks old, 120 ml uh, for the scoops. All right, turn out, turn out, turn out. Okay. Now, uh, during the assessment, there are instances na tagad tao calibrated the glass, which is good because the first new you measure is the water, di ba? Okay. And the result of the day is four weeks, 120 ml. So asa pa 120 na lang dili. 120 cc is just equivalent to 120 ml. Yet sinyo, so yung buta ng 120 ml. Okay, so we have 120 ml uh, water. Okay. Now, question, sir, what if we have we calibrated glass and we have to make an assessor? It's just an ordinary glass. Where can I measure my 100 ml? Feeding bottle. In the feeding bottle. Okay, in the feeding bottle. Okay, your feeding bottle has a measuring one, say, or numbers as yeah, to measure the amount of water and also with the powder milk as yeah. Gets in you. So if ever can you allow, you have to be assessors in you. So measure your water here. It's a feeding bottle, okay? So in the bottom in your feeding bottle. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have to transfer the water to the 
glass na siya or any ordinary glass na siya agree mo pagtimpla sa baso ayaw mo pagtimpla diri sa so ano yung gita sa baso pagtimpla then number 6 can you read number 6 Fill a scoop of milk based on the manufacturer's instruction or one scoop for every 90 ml. Oh, three to one mga siya. Okay, so, upat pa na nakasulti din eh. One scoop for every 90 ml. Nee, we're just following the manufacturer's instruction. Kaya nakamagsik kasi ko sa butilya mga ko. Ayaw, ayaw, sa butilya. Ayaw, ayaw. Ayaw, ayaw. Ayaw, ayaw. Kena sana dili tu kas dah la kulur kulur. Mula begitu dengan suasa kuangkai ni mana? Kulur kulur mana dekat mana? Dah satu apa dah lain? Oh, satu. Oh, sama tu kamu sama tu barang kau kapu ya. Alright, okay. Number seven. What's number seven? Nak apa tu? Okay. So using a sterilized spoon, you have to mix this one. Okay. Now, when you mix the water and powder, Nasir, do not mix using kind of circular motion. Why? 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 Eight method of mixing water and milk. Use eight method. When we say eight method, ang pagkuto na to is literally yung kanyang yung dagat yung spoon is pura mo na infinite number eight. Eight figure ba? Okay? So ang pagtipla ninyo is actually yung nami. The question is why? No, we're not going to do it. The question is why? Makuto. Kani mas makuto ang bayo? Dili siya mo circle? Dili siya mo spin? Para malesa. Dili siya mo spin? Dili siya mo spin? Dili siya mo spin? Dili siya mo spin? Malesa ng bubbles. Ha? Malesa ng bubbles. Malesa ng? Bubbles. Very good. Okay. Now you have to remember this one. One of the reasons kano mag-bloated or kanagad yung mag-lain ng TNT baby or mag-bloated it's actually because of the air or bubbles No, na iyang gi, you know, as much as possible, we should not introduce air sa iyang stomach. Again, they said, immature pa na ang iyang stomach. This is one of the reasons why I'm gonna mag-colic. Are you familiar with colic? Okay, colic is one of the disorder of your baby na di kit mahimutang every time ng feeding ka na niya. Because of, there are a lot of reasons ka na mag-colic na siya. One of the reasons is the nagkakig bubbles. Another thing, okay, if ever nagkakig air mo soon si yung stomach, it can also cause GERD, okay, or also known as acid reflux na siya. Can I imagine that the acid will go up? Because the damn big hangin siya po, and you need to be able to dug up. So if you dig up, the acid is going to go up. Saka. Gets it? So what will happen if you dig up the acid? Aside from the acid. Aside from the acid. Aside from the acid. Are you asking about it? Are you? Did you experience heartburn? Yes. Most of us probably experience heartburn this year. Can I ask you something? May mutang mo dili. This is input sa baby. Muna ko sa ay may bobo mga mother sa, may bobo mga mama. Pag sige, hilap di may mutang. Bisa kung saan ninyo ko yung uyan, di ka siya may mutang. It's one of the reasons why di ka siya may mutang. Because of sakit na niya di yan. Okay, gets ninyo? So kung magtimpla na niyo mo, use a big metal na diyan. Okay, kalma lang mo magtimpla and use a big metal until okay, you will stop mixing the uh, milk and also the water until all of the milk powder is dissolved na na siya. Okay, or wala na milk residue. When we say wala na milk residue, wala na yung powder milk dito sa ubos. So make sure na to all of the sides in your glasses, they go each as a eight-figure method na siya. Gets ninyo? Ano ba na sa assessment? Ha? Assessment yes! In the assessment, you have to talk in front of your assessor that I'll be using ink metal to prevent the uh, bubbles so milk because bubbles can cause acid reflux
So once we're done mixing the milk and corn, okay, what is the next procedure? Number eight. So this is the reason we don't gum it down finally. Number one, let's say, let's say, let's say, Okay, kung palakin mo po, panahubog mo, bibawag mo po ay Akira na pagkata, bibawag dilip po, mayabog, dilip mas feel, okay? So we are going to open this one, okay? Open the cup together with the one. Then put it, kaya upside down na para dilip maghugaw ang inyo. Then put, then put the funnel, then slightly slant, you know my funnel, and also the feeding bottle that's here. Kamu itu tak boleh sakit terus, tu balut itu ada. Dan dan ini ini dan tu. Tak boleh tak boleh. Ada apa yang kau bawa dalam beer pada tadi kau? Kena kan dia isi sebab kita dah buat. Oh berkenaan dengan buah. Ini ni beer atau gitu? ไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่ได้นะไม่
Gets in you. So, dapat labay na dahil na ang mga milk. Okay? So, that's how you prepare your milk. That's here. Okay? Another thing. Okay? If ever diri mo magtimpla, listen na, if ever diri mo magtimpla, you'll actually notice na basta mahulot na yung baby, dagang king milk residue. Dagang king tibugol na bilin na niya. Which means that, huwag na itong mga tagtanan. Okay? Unlike mga rita magtimpla sa baso, Klaro d'yo kayo na wag d'yo yung nabili. Diba? Okay? Actually, this is kind of uh, recommended bit sa pagtipla sa gatas. Unfortunately, the time lang ang disadvantage is. When we say time, dugay kita mahuman o oh, timpla using this one. Okay? Okay, hilap na lang ni bata, huwag pa talang humang timpla. Nag-order na lang siya, grab or food panda. Huwag pa lang ang delivery. Huwag pa gaya po na lang. Kung nag-milty na lang inyong bata na lang. Okay? So, more like challenge when using this one, okay? Yes, question. Sa araw may sponsoring ako na ang bubbles na mga kuwan sa feeding bottles. Ano sa mga? Na araw. Ano, 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 ano. There is something. Na araw may kuwan sa ilaw ng mga shake na mga nangi pa. For a mixer? Ay, ano siya? Mahalap. Mahalap. Okay. Ah, okay. Ito sa mga 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 Let's talk about the game. Ayo lagi tak ada ni lah. Atau lagi kinaraan lagi penting lagi. Questions? Any questions? Wala. Okay. Go to the next page. Go to the next. Stop saying you video. Kita nak.